all. And so they feel, they feel like...
Alright, Sherlock the Awakened Part 1. That's right. Hit that like button, subscribe if you like. Let's see what we got here. We're going co pilot today with Nova Twin. New game. Excited to play this one. A little something different. Let's, let's get this thing out of the way here. Ugh, these damn dogs. Okay. Ta-da, I have a This is your compass. And you can level the crime. Check it out if you don't know what to do next. Sheer life writes everything down. Check the case book. You might miss something. Pin the evidence to the screen. Simply press X while it is open in your case book. Tauntaun leads pen evidence with X and then ask people about it without evidence. They won't understand you. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Let's get these fucking glasses off, let's be honest. Hit that like button and subscribe if you like. Chapter one, the shadow over London. Baker Street. Okay. Listen, listen. Well, well. Mm. Dr. Watson, would you kindly close the door behind you so that we can limit the price of your carelessness to merely hours of work rather than days? My apologies, Mr. Holmes. I found myself rather taken aback. <laughs> I yeah. saw tidy houses in war-torn Afghanistan. Holmes. Are those my surgical needles? I ran out of tax and the matter required Ooh. immediate attention. Was that my supper? Plainly not, for I was the one who ate it. That was hmm. last night's supper under the bed. This evening. And for that I am grateful. Is that my bed? Watson, since you've proven yourself a master of observation, might I ask you to apply your skills to a more pertinent question? Namely, the whereabouts of today's newspapers. They are the key to everything. The newsboy is usually reliable. But if he's speaking, I often find that the key to everything is good sleep. In a bed. Your papers are here, on the table. All right. Let's see what the postman brought today. Get one muff up here. Welcome to the game. Use left stick to move around and press A to interact with the objects. This mess is getting out of hand. What will the landlady think? Don't say it. Grab it. Okay. Move. Rotate. Hold inspect. Okay. Oh, damn. Glasses time, you. Thank you for hitting that like button. I appreciate it. Tensions between Indian and Sweden are running high after a series of unfortunate mishaps during a recent visit to London by a Swedish princess. <laughs> Chief among the scandals was the embarrassment of the British diplomatic corps as a result of the unexplained disappearance. Princess personal bodyguard, the longtime member of the inner circle, took the opportunity to explore London off duty and never returned from his late night. Promenade. A spokesman for the police ensures the advertiser that they are confident that the bodyguard will be located, as he is striking representative to the Scandinavian people. A man like that gets noticed, whether by his peers, the gentleman's gloves, or the fair nightingales who comfort them. Local okay. gossip, all of it uninteresting. All right. One of three. Damn, these freaking. Okay. Exit B. Okay, so you gotta stop away with B. What's up, y'all? Quantum, what's up? Uh, okay. Just wanted to say have a good night. Bye. Okay. Hi and bye. Gotcha. I wish there was a 
I'm gonna hang these right here. Wait, I gotta put them this way, so, uh, pick them up easy. Do I wanna put them that way? Yeah, put them that way, okay. Put my glasses on my mic stand here. Okay, so one of three. Damn, that camera's kinda funky. That's the same one. That's why I was thinking go over here. Pick that stick up if you want. What about this? Hey, anybody want to help with the clues? This, this, that's why I'm playing this. Anybody want to, uh, playing with the viewers tonight the whole series the whole walkthrough what is going on here give me something on the bed I'm just gonna tap freaking a do they all have to be in here I know it. Ooh. I just need one more piece to crack the case. Did I get it? Okay. Hey. I'm close. I know it. I just need one more piece to crack the case. That it uh my controller vibrated. One more piece. Okay, so then that must be two out of three. Hang on, let me hit the menu button and see what happens. Bonus. Okay. What's up, y'all? Suggestions is higher. <laughs> okay, let me try something here. I gotta do something for a sec here. I gotta climb into my... Let's lower this a little bit. Okay. Just giving the stream a little tweak. Trying to make it as best as I can. Okay. London Advertiser. Okay. So we shouldn't know about that yet. Okay, whoa, that's a big map. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's, okay, let's rock something else. Meh. Let's go quick. Not liking the second row. Third row is a little more formal. Which ones did I... Hold on. I unlocked... Because I, I pre-ordered. So I unlocked a bunch of shnit. Yo, let's go with the Abe hat, dude. This year? Yeah? Wonder which ones they gave me. These ones? What do you think, chat? These ones? I like those ones. No facial. We gotta go clean, but we're gonna unlock, we're gonna get rid of the icons. Eh. I'm gonna go with the little darker tint. Damn, that's sharp. That's Watson. Okay. Boom. And these ones switch these top. Okay. We're still working on Sherlock. Dude. We got to get something out better than that. We got to look better than that. Sherlock is the man, yo. Man, I almost like that, but it's like, you know. I might go with that. But I got to have the A-bat. I'm going to go with the A-bat. 
I stick with the glasses. No facial. I'm gonna go white. Perfect. Okay. Let's get this last clue. Most of us put our thoughts to paper, not to walls, Mr. Holmes. Been in that corner. Over there was a clue. So I'm guessing over in this quadrant must be some sort of a clue. Let's start where the globe is. What about on the ceiling? No, maybe not. Your clock. Check the side of the table. What about this scope? Oh. Right here? No. Boy, yeah. They really want to, uh, I wonder if I can get down. So, I do. Uh, I'm pretty sure t pen evidence. Sort. Maybe I got a pen that. Huh? Really? Hmm. It says one more. It said one more. Verb, like, uh... Oh, maybe I have to stay right here. No. That doesn't make any sense. What's up, Tar Daddy? I don't know if that's how you pronounce your screen name. We gotta, we gotta look for clues, man. Hey, I'm playing with viewers tonight. Any? This is the very beginning of the game. Zoom in on this. No. What was that? Okay, that's LB. It seemed like it was a blank, like it, it was sensor. Can I walk out of here? Your mail is on the table, Holmes. Okay. Visit Barnes Bookshop. That's one of three, though. Jesus. Didn't you miss me? Sure did. As soon as I figure out one thing, I'll know. What the heck? Okay, so those are like the only two things I can pick up from this area. And then you can do that blank every once in a while. I wonder if you can hold it. Your mail is on the table, Holmes. What the heck, man? 
This is my mail. Can I open it? All I can do is rotate it. Now what? Another letter from Vernon. I had a hit on um, A. Reply, but they keep coming. Okay, that's two. It doesn't tell you to do that. It just says hold to inspect it. So I picked it up, and then rotate, and it doesn't say to hit A again. So, there must be a third thing on this table then, I'm, I take it. It doesn't allow me to move very far across the table. Like, this is as far as I can move to the left. I can't go down. It only lets me go left and right that, that far. It won't let me go there, dude. It's like a tablecloth. So what else is it? I bet you it's this. This map. Your order from Barnes Bookshop yep. has arrived, Doctor. Barnes insists on delivering the books. Okay, to perfect. We could yeah. Walk to his shop. It's good service. Sorry for the boring play. Okay, here we go. Alrighty. I don't see the strand. Where is it? Pardon me? I am on the precipice what? of uncovering a pattern of crime across London spanning many months and involving many men. The missing paper cannot be a coincidence. That's preposterous. My dear fellow, life is infinitely stranger than anything which the mind of man can invent. Well, life used your newspaper to wipe its posterior, so after that unpleasant discovery this morning, I disposed of it. But in lieu of the strand, perhaps I can deliver you something equally tantalizing. I have just returned from a patient of mine, Captain Stone, uh. who... No, no, that will not do. Grab your coat, Dr. Watson. Let us hope nobody's... Dr. Watson. All right, let's see what happens. We're going to be walking out this door for the first time. Hopefully I don't have nothing to inspect out here, let's be honest. Okay. It's rainy today, why not dress in something more appropriate for weather? Open your case book with menu, navigate the wardrobe tab with RB and put on a hat. Okay. Alright. Baker Street. We have to go to the bookstore, I believe. Okay, so let's check this map. Okay, so that's what it looks like from a doorway. There must be street signs and stuff too. LB. It won't let me move. Hold. Okay. So what was that, a fast travel or something? Welcome to the stream. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to check out the rest of the series. Uh, we got Redfall on May 2nd. Okay, now what? I'm looking for that door. What's up, man? Baker Street. Okay, here's some signs. We're looking for the bookstore. All shot palace. Let's check this sign back here real quick. Pawn shop. Okay, let's talk. The dustbin is yours for the digging, Mr. Holmes. Cool. Alright. Let's go to the end here. Road closed. Okay, so we gotta make our way this way. Right! Right. Can we get in this mf -er? Let's just check it out. Watson, fucking drive me. Alright, out of my way. Barnes Bookshop. Okay. Is this it? 
I don't think so. Impressive stature, strong gaze. I think this man deserves a knighthood. Really, Holmes? How can you be so sure? It's On rare occasions, that. Watson, it can suffice to trust one's gut. What's up, weird tiffs? How's that 420 and that WWE 2K23 going? Man, you're on that jam all night long. What state you live in? Are we in a different time? I'm in New York. In case you didn't know. Am I going the right way? Bookstore. Looking for the bookstore. Smash that like button. Thanks. Watson, you got something new to say? Don't look at me. If you want the newspaper, you'll have to get your hands dirty. Okay, let's go back through here. Look at this guy. I want to put... Yeah! Give it, uh, just, you know... Check it out if you like it. Buy it on your own and um, don't spoil it. Okay, so this is where I went back through. So I'm like going to where that other piece of street was. Okay. So the bookstore is somewhere over around here, over here somewhere. So I'll keep walking. Locked. What is that? It's somewhere I'm not supposed to be. Let's take a left. Barbish. Barber shop. Check out what's inside there. I hope I didn't walk past it. I don't think I did. Checked everywhere. There would have been an icon on it. Like a white circular icon, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Stenwick's Manor. from Barnes. Two twenty one B Baker Street. Okay, so those are all the spots I've been. Okay, so oh, you gotta hold the button down. All righty. Bookshop. Not a break, huh? Now what? If you come across one of my drafts, please leave it in the bin. That ladder, it's locked. And then that says it's on a break. If I am honest, part of me will enjoy watching you rifle through rubbish. Seems only fair after what you did to our flat. So now what do I gotta do? Now let's go to this man here. Do I wait? Pen evidence.
Let's look for some. Anybody wanna um, throw some clues out there? What they think? So let's see if this guy's got something to say. Why are you screaming? Pick the fucking controller up. That's some hopscotch crap. They're being icon. If I'm honest, part of me will enjoy watching you rifle through rubbish. Seems only fair after what you did to our flat. break in with. Holy. Is the guy over here? Yeah. My gratitude, Sir Arthur. Who's that? My gratitude, Sir Arthur. Who's this guy? Bookstore's right here. Is that the book dude though? If I'm honest, part of me will enjoy watching you write through rubbish. Seems only fair after what you did to our flat. What? If I am honest, part of me will enjoy watching you rifle through rubbish. Seems very fair dust after what you did to our flat.
Where in the hell would a dustbin be? Holy. Am I what? Where the frick is my flat? Oh my goodness. Where's my flat? I fast traveled outside. Dustbin somewhere. If I'm honest, part of me will enjoy watching you rifle through rubbish. Seems only fair after what you did to our flat. What the heck? I'm not moving from that bookshop. What am I? No. What the heck? What do I do? Dust been around here somewhere? Locked. I hate when games start. I'm on a break. Locked. How retarded. Now what? Down. Huh. Quit fucking yelling, man. Just pick up the stick. Pick it up. Yeah. They probably move out of the way eventually during the game. It's to block off the area.
Pick up. Yes. Then leave. Where? Shut the hell up. That's all I can get. Where? Dude. Pick up the fucking controller, man. Well, look. It has the icons on the bottom. Quit barking at me. Cactus spine. If it gets in your skin, it's awfully tricky to remove, and when laced with poison, the perfect assassination tool. I got the peanut gallery fucking giving me his two cents. You don't know how to play the game either. Anything else in here? Enjoy watching you right through rubbish. All right. Seems only fair after what you did to our bat. That Ben was right there. Is there a Ben in the flat? If I am honest, part of me would enjoy way, watching huh? you right through rubbish. Seems only fair after what you did to our flat. Okay, can only go back upstairs, I believe. Let's see if there's a bin. That would have been nice. If I am honest, part of me will enjoy watching you rifle through the rubbish. Seems only fair after what you did to our bin flat. Here. Bad there wasn't something in that one. Hmm. Is there just one thing in here or two things? Okay, so that's one of two. Is what I'm saying is there are two things in here, but it only picks that up. And I've already done that. It won't let me look too far around. Just to let everybody know. That is the only thing I can get from here right now. Looks like. Let's be little garbage bits. That's where I was.
Dude, there's a stick right there. Okay, you don't know how to walk? Okay, I've got one of two. There's no icon on him. How do I know? If I am honest, part of me will enjoy watching you rifle through rubbish. Seems only fair after what you did to our flat. It only lets me get one thing out of here. You were mistaken, Dr. Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you implied. It's potting soil. See, Watson? The conspiracy is real. Someone tried to poison me. This game's gonna poison be hard you? because... That's madness. There's different, like, actions. Get the strand! Get your cup! Sorry, Mr. Holmes. I just sold my last paper. Blast! Then why are you still here? Boss pays by the hour. No Cause some things have like logos on them. That th that had absolutely no logo on it. You're a bright child. I presume you see everything that goes on around Finally. you. Finally. Nothing gets past me, Mister. Then tell me, did you notice anyone suspicious at my door this morning? Hmm. Like the man with your newspaper. Precisely. What do you know? I know the value of a shilling. Doctor Watson. Cool. Now I can take the day off. What did he do with the paper? Where was he at? Which way did he go? Not sure. I was distracted by customers. Sorry. Can you describe the man you saw? He was carrying a lot of books. Up to his chin they were. Never heard of a well-read assassin. Looks can deceive. Hence the appeal of disguises. Did you Jeez. see what he was up to? Nah, not really. I saw him approaching your house, but I had a customer. Then there's a loud bang. I ducked down. Not because I was scared, because I wasn't. I had to protect the merchandise, and all I could see was him kneeling at your door. All right. You earned your shilling. That'll be all. Thanks, you Mr. Holmes. Maybe I could be your eyes and ears, if you have more Maybe. shillings. All right. This testimony. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. The strand is a newspaper. Do you even have enemies that strand. would want to kill you? Okay, perhaps. Here. From Cordona. Okay, now should I go back to the bookshop? Oh, what's this? Cactus spine, potentially poor. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. What do you Get think I just hit? What do you think this is? This is a case book. In case you didn't know. Strand. Who ruined the strand? Okay, this is like a question I gotta kinda answer. Okay, items.
trying to f um okay this is pinning evidence learn how to play y'all so you start off with like a clue and then you pin that clue and then the more clues you find you pin them in chronological like order is what I'm, I'm getting so book from Barnes, I don't have that, do I? Yeah, apparently I do have it, cause I have items. So this is what I have. I have three things. The strand is missing, which is the paper. Newsboys testimony and the book from Barnes. So then when I complete that, I move to the next thing. Okay. And I'm assuming that these two are probably the introduction of the game to kind of get you learning about the game. And then those next ones you see are the beginning of the actual game. All right. But it wants me to do this. So it wants me to pin something. So I'm going to pin this. I got to just figure out how to do this one time. Colors should be coordinating. Now it takes that one off. Okay. Observations does nothing. Because it's a read. Wants me to pin one thing, I know. Documents and testimony. Let's try to pin that first. And then we'll go to this. Okay. There we go. Boom. Newsboys says a suspicious man was carrying a stack of books, and this morning, Mr. Barnes. Local bookseller to visit it all over Mr. Watts. Cactus spine for assassination, a loud bang, and a visit to Mr. Barnes is in order. Okay. Who ruined the strand? Barnes, the local bookseller, ruined the newspaper. Back. Back. Now, what's this about? Try to go back to the bookshop. Come now, Mr. Holmes. Murder. All right. Yes, Barnes has his quirks, but he also has his scruples. Not every pawn knows it's part of a game. Here we go. How about that Vogel fellow? He seems rather obsessed with you. Would he do something like this? Observe. Inspect. Bags under his eyes. Baxter go for work. Ink. Newspaper ink. Definitely on his right leg. Sore left leg. 
Because these clues are going to come in handy. Because somebody's got to wind up with a sore left leg. It's like the movies. I wonder if that's all. It's looking like maybe that's all. Oh, yeah, okay, there is one more here. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this now. Wants to look. I wish I was a little bit taller. Confirm portrait. Mr. Barnes, a word. <gasps> All that for that? Oh, for Damn. Sake. Who, uh, who goes there? Sherlock Holmes. Now will you please... Sherlock Mr. Watson. Golly, I did not see you coming. Would you care to answer some questions for me? Well, I wish I could, but I am... Deep in the weeds with work. How about we uh, reschedule in a month or two? Come now, Mr. Barnes. It will only take a moment. No, really deep in the weeds with, uh, with important things. Well, help yourself to any book. Just take it a pay later. I trust you, Mr. Holmes. Barnes doesn't seem like himself. Why is he acting this way? Best get seen You're asking found. the right questions, Doctor. Press LB, Let's find a way to coax him out. The ladder is broken recently, judging by the freshness of the wood. Okay. Broken ladder. Barnes has always been a little odd, but this is uncharacteristic even for him. Move, rotate. Hold on, spot. Basics of cryptoanalysis, cryptography in Egypt. It appears Barnes has an interesting hobby. I could hardly imagine anything more macabre. Basics of cryptoanalysis, cryptography in Egypt. It appears Barnes has an interesting hobby. Basics of cryptoanalysis, cryptography in Egypt. It appears Barnes has an interesting hobby. We're looking for a cactus needle in a haystack. Hmm. A spine in a book. I could hardly imagine no, anything more macabre. Think. So, Barnes has a dog now. Who's a good boy? Give me them clues. Jeez, the heck? An improvised stand, but it does make the flowers more visible. In the 
language of Mycroft's secret agents, it's a sign. Dried flowers are replaced when the job is done. I wonder who the recipient is. view London has to offer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like bookshops. One of the few spots in London where you are shunned for making a racket. Uh, apologies, but I can't hear you. Please come back later. Oh, that was it. This gonna be hard, yo. And one clue. Why is Barnes acting so strangely? Boom. Boom! Got it! Putting it together. I just put it yeah didn't I just do this okay so there's there's a there's a uh, magnifying glass at the bookshop still see that green icon that came up though
check it out now. No, I think there is another clue in here. It's got to be because the magnifying glass is not going away. Didn't you once tell me that answers usually lie in plain sight? There's something in plain sight, apparently. That's already done. Nada. Sight, huh? So, Lance has a dog now. Who's a good boy? That's two or two. screen here. Hmm. going on didn't you once tell me that answers usually lie in plain sight seems like the yacht one that it's yellow is what you should do And when you look at the map, Goes to the green. It's connected to this this one. One 
want a clue. And that one's solved. See, these are all my, like my items and my evidence. And then when I go to... When I go to this... I link all my items and my evidence and testimonies together to basically solve whatever the uh, thing is going on. So right here, I have this and this. But see how there's a green blop in the middle? And I don't have an it another item or a piece of evidence that's green. Like... Let's see if it now watch. See now Yeah, I miss I'm definitely Yeah. But Yeah, but then when I go to the map, I feel like it's telling me there's another piece of evidence in there. But I searched the whole place. Outside. Didn't you once tell me that answers usually lie in plain sight? Okay, My that I cover. came back I've like done everything in here did it see how it's black I did it it would light up in yellow Yeah, that's why I keep thinking to like, and then that doorknob is yellow. Didn't you once tell me that answers usually lie in plain sight? Yeah, where? Didn't you once tell me that answers usually lie in plain sight? Didn't you once tell me that answers usually Holy lie cow. in plain sight? He, and he could just be saying that because of what I already did. There ain't nothing here because I already did everything there. Maybe the thing means I've done all the clues here. Maybe that's what it means is that the magnifying glass means all the clues in the bookstore I've already done. I'm thinking that has to be it because there's nothing else here. I've done it all.
ceiling. Right. Sounds like there's a dog in here. Can't be in here. This has to be just already done. Encouraging people to stop and smell the roses. Our national emblem. God save the queen. It must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. I imagine so. I merely sell them. Rotate. The pot is damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by something. Hmm. Two of three. Encouraging people to stop and smell the roses. That was the first one I did. It must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. Familiar spine. Is this what I found in my dustbin? How weird. You th I thought the th crack was the third Anything thing. See, that's what I'm saying. This is going to be difficult. Avoids eye contact or distract. Wearing makeup for beauty. Morning brooch honoring deceased husband. Clean boots changed shoes upon arrival. Luxury fabric. Unusual for work attire. Boom! Except... Mrs. Fleming, you look particularly lovely today. Is there a reason? Does a woman need a reason to look or feel? No, 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 no. no but your distant look suggests you seek one man's gaze in particular. Who told you that? Not a lot of action, a but you know, some simple different. deduction. Well, I'll kindly ask you to keep your keen eye to yourself, Mr. Holmes. I'll be off. Still missing a green glue, I think. Thank you. 
Maybe something else around the area here. Hello there. What's your name? Lily. I know. Not very original. Dog. Didn't you once tell me that answers usually lie in plain sight? This stuff moves and like probably opens up during the game. Plain sight, huh? Still need to talk to this chick or what? Does she have testimony? I'll Jeez. be off. No. What do you make of the flowers in Barn's shop window? Well, they could use a bit of water. Do they mean anything to you? Mean anything how? I'm not sure I follow Mr. Holmes. Why do you think they're there? Are you suggesting the flowers are for me? It seems likely, does it not? <coughs> <coughs> I hope you're right. Okay. Now let's see what else. One of these things is not like the other. Coming Flowers and the cactus make the most set, spines sense to talk to her about. And the sap is often so that's why I chose those two to talk to her about. And a rose thorn can give you tetanus, but we still grow them. The cactus seems comparatively harmless. Though you have me thinking it must be valuable. I was under the impression that you knew its price already. Your guess is as good as mine. The first time I saw this cactus was when I came back from my break. Okay. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. Ah, fuck, sure. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. Okay, so I can basically ask Are you sure you're asking everything? the right person? I'm just a flower seller. I don't know anything about this, sorry. Just Are go. you familiar with Mr. Barnes? Yes. No, not really. Well, Takes the guess in a way. Guess. What on earth does that mean? I know who he is, of course, but we haven't shared much more than a look. A look? Yes. Each morning I go for a walk in the park with my dog, and most days I spot Mr. Barnes there with his new puppy. So we see each other. Actually, we once met briefly while our dogs played. He was quiet and seemed unsteady as he approached. But since then, 
We've never spoken. I often see him staring through the shop window. Sometimes I wonder what he thinks about that would etch such longing onto his face. Alrighty then. Evidence. Take that. Here we go. Whoops. Wrong one. These two are probably kind of like teach you how to play. Items. Ah, there we go. So it's like you get the clues as you go along. This is not good. Ah. Okay, so that thing can move over. All right. Sweet. Mr. Virus, that was Mr. Fleming. Barnes displays a bouquet of dead flowers to attract the attention of Miss Fleming, a florist. He may hope she will come into his shop and give him watering advice. Or it could simply be simple of his desperation. Franz anonymously gives her a cactus, which he ordered from a catalog on his counter. A questionable choice for Barnes, a symbol of his eternal love, since the catalog represents these cacti as immortal. Plainly, this is the same cactus he dropped on the strand outside 221B. Barker, Baker Street. Now to hear the full story. Okay. Why is Barnes acting so strangely? Miss Barnes is in love. Mr. Barnes is in love with Miss Fleming. Gotcha. Okay. Miss Fleming says she knows nothing about the dead flowers, but hopes the bouquet is for her. Hmm. I, uh, think perhaps I have been chasing shadows. Do not despair, Mr. Holmes. Even the best of us make mistakes. You better tell Mr. Barnes what we've learned. Okay. I gotta go back to Mr. Barnes. Why is it saying, look here? Oh, here we go. There we go. Okay. There's a new red thing I gotta read. There's a cactus with impressive spines in Miss Fleming's flower strand. The pot is cracked. It appears to have taken a blow, but the impact was softened by something. Miss Fleming claims she doesn't know how the cactus appeared on her display. She went for a break, and she came back, and it was there. Now we're going to go to the map. We're going to fast travel to the bookshop. All right. Mr. Barnes not even here anymore. Mr. Barnes, oh, cool. I know what you did, and I know why you did it. I'm sorry, Mr. Holmes. I can't hear you very well from behind the door. You ordered a cactus from the plant catalogue and then left it for Mrs. Fleming as a gift. You place flowers in the window to get her attention and wear high heels to appear taller and more desirable. You are her secret admirer. I couldn't read this morning's edition of The Strand because it was covered in soil and spines. I know you dropped a cactus on it and then fled. Barnes? It's Dr. Watson. Rest assured, we are not interested in disclosing your personal affairs to anyone, including Mrs. Fleming. Please come out. Uh, 
All right, then. So, you know what happened, then? I was on my way back from the post office, having picked up the cactus and some books. It was quite an awkward package. Heavy, too. And when I got to your door, I dropped the cactus in your paper. Forgive me. I needed that paper to prove a theory and prevent a crime. Your actions were rather disruptive. Your clumsiness carrying the post is matched only by the clumsiness of your romantic gesture. Oh, it's true. I am useless with this sort of thing. I'm not even sure if Mrs. Fleming noticed. As in most things in life, truth is the answer. Cease with the obtruse signals and anonymous gifts, and simply talk to the woman. What is the worst that can happen? She rejects you, and you are freed from this endless purgatory. That... Yes, you are correct, of course. I do have a slight tendency to overthink things. Thank you. So, at last, we return to the matter of the paper. I'm investigating a string of burglaries. Did you perhaps read of any before the edition was spoiled? I don't recall, but you're welcome to read our copy for yourself. You had an issue of The Strand here all along? Well, naturally. I am a bookseller. I have a subscription to every magazine and newspaper in London. So you ought to be familiar with the concept of burying the lead. What's I... up, Diego Games? Oh, no. Uh, my apologies, Mr. Holmes. I'll make it up to Sorry you. Sorry if I left I you hanging for a minute. I am an expert on I sent it some tweets out, man. And, 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 uh, yes, yes, What's okay. up, buddy? Just give me the paper. How you doing, man? Okay. Let's throw my glass. Oh! We got an achievement. Read between the lines. Hub Barnes with his love life. Ooh wee. Okay. The Strand, September 28, 1882. How are you doing? Ah, uh, today I'm doing pretty good because I was looking forward to playing this game. So. Yeah. So today I'm kind of excited to play the game. It's different than a different day where a game hasn't come out. So let's read. Selpit Tree, Explosion Rocks Docks. Locals at the Port of London has a rude awakening last night with loud bangs and thick red smoke disturbing the peace. Merchant ship Moskva have docked a pier N3 in early evening and route to Europe when it was rocked by several concussive explosions. The Port Authority is yet to comment on the incident, and it is unknown if any crew members were aboard at the time. Eyewitnesses report seeing Salpetre, I don't know how to really pronounce that, leaking into the river. Okay, so it's Salpetre leaking into the river. Okay, so it's a, some sort of a substance. But with the area still off limits to workers and the public, it may be some time before we have a full account of what transpired. Come, Dr. Watson. Let us put this matter behind us. Farewell, Mr. Barnes. I hope to hear good hope news. Hope you're having a better day, man. Okay. Now we can hit that LB button and it kind of uh, sends that little shock wave of senses from Sherlock to the places around him. And it can like kind of highlight well, a clue. Well, that was an utter waste of time. But you can only the do it like once every 10 did seconds. Seem rather unlikely. There was supposed to be this another burglary. Be I was tricky. certain of it. Hmm. Something you wish to say, doctor? No. Well, only that you have a remarkable faculty for deduction and pattern recognition. And that perhaps, if ill-applied... I see things that are not there. Yes. Oh, I see dead. No. It is London. There will always be burglaries. Doesn't have to mean anything. So it seems. Forgive me. Without something to occupy my mind, I turn into an entirely different animal. Which brings us back to my news from earlier. I think I have a case for you. A real one. Truly? Indeed. The perhaps not as Smash that like button. Stories from Cordona. Subscribe if you like. A patient of mine, Captain Stenwick, told me that his servant disappeared. I said I knew just the man to help. What do you say? Oh, Watson. Yes. Share the stream if you want. tantalizing mystery nor the story to launch my writing career. 
but it's brilliant. Let's go. Oh, like, good. share, well, his subscribe. House is nearby. Come. Okay. Mansion. Further now. Boy, it really don't really kind of help you. Oh, maybe it's right here because of the door. Is this lousy attitude of yours because of my altercation with Inspector Lockhart? Did he put you up to this? Sir, the inspector has nothing to do with it. I'm telling you the same thing I tell anyone seeking a missing person. <clears throat> Good day, gentlemen. Forgive the intrusion. Captain Stenwick, this is my colleague Sherlock Holmes, the consulting detective I told you about. At last, a professional. This useless officer refuses to do anything about Kimi here, my missing servant. What was your name again? I shall be certain to inform your superiors. Sergeant Ruffles. It's my superiors who made this decision, sir. Have there been other disappearances lately? Of course, here and there. But when life is tough and opportunity comes knocking, you can't blame those who answer. Why has the police department decided not to help? Maybe we I should have gone with murder, the other thefts, fraud, arson. Real crimes? Look a little weird. A servant walking away from his master is not our highest priority. That said, <coughs> if we find Kimahia breaking the law, we'll be sure to notify Captain Stenwick. Now, I must be off. Best of luck in your search. <laughs> you heard that, didn't you? The way that man spoke to me. I shall need your written testimony. Then we can lodge a complaint. Captain, perhaps Mr. Holmes' time is better spent learning about your servant, so that he may begin his investigation. Ah, yes. Quite right. Fire away. Might as well just go for May I see your there. servant's bedroom? This shack is in the garden. You can't miss it. Did you search the room? Of course, but only to check he wasn't lying dead inside. Everything seemed normal at a glance. Let's see, describe him. Tell me about Kim here. He's foreign. A Maori, all the way from New Zealand. Biggest man you've ever seen, and as strong as two. Dark hair and fearsome tattoos. He doesn't speak a whit of English, never bothered to learn. But I made do with pointing. I invested a lot of money in him, so he must be found. Is there any reason Kimahia may have left? I should think not. He had all he could have wanted. Gainful employment, new clothes, and all the cabbage he could eat. Did Kimmer here make off with anything of value? Heavens no. I would have Heavens mentioned it to Sergeant Ruffles. Still, he must have fled with some money on his person. No, no. I kept his wages in my safe. For security. I take it this is the first time Kimahir has vanished? Undoubtedly. The man seemed terrified of the city. I think it was all the noise. He never left this estate. Should he cause any damage, I will bear the responsibility. For it was I who rescued him from savagery and brought him here to England in the first place. When did you last see your servant? Kimmy here normally brings me the morning papers, but yesterday I had to get them myself. He must have escaped the night before yesterday. All right, Captain. I think I have enough to get started. We shall first take a look around the mansion. Go ahead. I'll be here, mentally drafting my complaint. Okay, investigation scene found. Okay. Let's check the map. This is new, the Strand, September 28th, 1882. Let's go to the Red Blob. Okay. Items. Hmm. It's a 
attach that one. Oh. Yeah. More clues. Okay, where does the trail lead to that person? Okay, so that, okay, so when it's green, it means that's all done, I'm assuming. This is where I am now. Why are you still here? Oh, yeah. Check it all out, baby. Let's check it all out. Watson. Stenwick makes his servant live in a tool shed. You think you know someone? Damn, brah. That's like a slave. Living in a tool shed. Here we go. And what do we have here? Chewing tobacco. Well, you know that's something. Footprints. A shoe print, roughly size 11, with a worn out sole. These are a workman's boots. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, come on. I figured that would be something. First time I ever did that. Yeah, there's gotta be another clue here, I think. Chewing tobacco. It's gotta light up yellow. No. It's as far around as it allows me to go. Figure that would be it. Maybe can I walk around here? I'm assuming it's got nothing to do with this yet because it hasn't taught me really how to use this. This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. Okay. A lock with an unusual keyhole bent to the right. Alrighty then. There's one clue out of two clues. 
These were sturdy boxes. It would have required They a were sturdy boxes. They were. Okay, so. Scandinavian princess personnel bodyguard. Toured London while off duty, but never returned from a late night walk. The police are currently conducting the search. Okay, so it wants me to keep that on the screen. Rotate! A Maori nose flute. Ngurus, okay. they're called. Clothes made of hessian. Is them really so miserly? Alright. So I got all these. Is this a Tanifa, a Maori water spirit, or something else? What's that? Hit that like way, button. Giving me chills. Okay, a little save, a little save. Look at the face! The sack of grain retained the shape of an impact. Someone hit their head here. Okay. Them things, yo. Sickles. A small navy spyglass. Baum. Okay. Coming through it. Button chops. The remains of a meal. That remains of a meal. The ashes are long since cold. A heavy chemical odor. Uh -oh. Let me your nose, Doctor. Ah, I'll never forget that smell after my time in Afghanistan. What's up, yeah? That's an opioid, Mr. That Holmes, an alcoholic. Oh, see how it's filling up the green blues at the top? Let's see, let's go back in there one more time. Get out of my way. Maybe he's in the way on purpose. Do you think Kimmy here had an accomplice in his escape? Let's check this room. Spyglass. I feel like I'm still missing something here. Okay, so I've gotten all that. Hmm? Alright. Looking for something out here now.
be something here. See, you'd think this was something. What the heck? It only gives me this view. What am I missing? It doesn't, the camera only allows you to go certain ways. Like it doesn't let me, like I've already got this and I've already got that. So I'm looking for something that I can get to within this camera view that it gives me. And you would think it's this. I can't just look at it from like this way. Okay. So is that just supposed to be a smeared footprint? What am I missing here? Maybe it's the ladder. No, but it doesn't let you look at the ladder. Come on, Sherlock. Hold inspect. A shoe print, roughly size 11. Okay. With a worn out sole. These are a workman's boots. That's the tobacco. tobacco. What is the other thing, man? It won't, it won't let me raise the thing upward, just so you all know. And that, what the heck? Okay, dude, look, it didn't even teach me how to use this yet. The amount of chewing tobacco suggests they were waiting a while. Amazing, Mr. Holmes. That's BS. This game's not teaching you nothing. It's just really throwing you in. Previous. Next. See, I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay. Previous. I have to go to the previous. It won't let me. Okay. So it's gotta be something like that. Okay, so it's done. See how it's not lit up anymore? Okay. Let's see if I can do this now. that like button. It's a thinking man's game here. Does the trail lead? Okay, so I, that's what I gotta find. All right, I'm glad I stayed. Okay, now we're on to this. Where does it come out? 
That's true. Watson's walking away. Yes, Denwick is no angel, but he's one of my few clients. Please, try to remain courteous. Let's check the map. Alright, I still got more to do over here. Switch to the next one. B. X. What's going on? Okay. So. There must be more things like that. And they should have that green blop on them. This one. Have left these See? traps. They seem fresh. Okay. Now don't I place a guy there? Parallel tracks. That's the guy kneeling. I gotta look for one more. It's probably outside the gate. Let's look around. The rag reeks of smoke. Someone plugged the chimney. Plug the chimney. I already read that. Yeah, I can't switch it though. Yeah, it does it on its own when it snaps. Like I hit the B button. And if it lets me, it goes to the next thing. Let's see now. 
another blob over there. That's the guy we already did. All right. Let's see. Dang, look at all these. Pick up the controller. Don't just sit there like that and say, right, right, right. Which one? that like button subscribe if you like looking for clues man so I think I'm done with that thing let's go back over here this lock is quite unusual it appears that the key should be bent to the right I already know we already read this I just don't want it on the screen. You can keep it on the screen, but I don't want it to cover up the screen. Is that up there? Okay, that's done. I will not be long, Captain. Oh, one more piece of evidence here. I know that that's not probably what I should do. Out in the gazebo. This disappearance is intriguing, though. I cannot make head nor tail of it. Not out here. Missing something here? I feel like I'm missing something here. Why does that thing pop up? See? Like, why does that pop up? Previous. I should do previous. When that pop. That's got to be it. No, because it would go to the next um, thing over, I think. So I don't think that is it. But what in the hell, bro? I can 
see the other two. The one on the outside of the building. Okay, so there's a blop next to that guy. I got that one. Yeah, I got that one. Let's go back in real quick. And make sure. Yeah, like two more of them. I gotta find two more of those. And... That was the second one. See, cause it's showing you. It just moved from the third one over to the second one over. So there's like two more of them. Let's go to those, uh, the guy in here and see which thing it moves over. See, first, and then the one down there was the third, and then the ones in here was the second. See? Second. So I'm looking for two more, two more green blobs, and that will be the last two to fill the, uh, kind of the story, backstory in for Holmes. It kind of puts the clues together and interprets the clues and then tells you narrates the clues together and tells you what happened basically when you get all the evidence put together that's what happens so I'm looking for two more of those and uh, you, well, you can't get out this way outside because of the, the, there's a lock you can't go inside how are you going to go inside? No, I got to I got to look somewhere for these two more clues. Let's go down in here. Nothing over here, huh? You figure there'd be something over here, right? Yeah, figure. But it would be like it would it would be so lit up, like it would be green lit up, like I could see across the screen. So it's definitely not the things over here. I will not be long, Captain. See, then when I get all the evidence, I go to him, and then the continuation of the story. story together. Not over here. It's not over here, so it's got to be outside the gate somehow. I don't know, though. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. I think it's outside now. Those are my senses. That's RB, and uh, when it does the shockwave one, it's LB. Right trigger is wrong. That's all done. See how far away it's like you can see? Like there's two things. See like it distorts the screen. So like you can see kind of from far away. Let's go over in this area. Seems like each area has kind of uh, a couple things. I swear we gotta figure out how to get through here. This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. And then I'll read this thing here for everybody again. 
Scandinavian princess, personal bodyguard, toured London while off duty but never returned from a late night walk. The police are currently conducting the search. And that's what I'm looking that's that's the case I'm working on. So I can pop up like what I'm which case I'm working on. Where in the heck are these last two clues? The one clue will lead me to the to the next one. Looking anywhere. Anybody can help. If they want. This is why I kinda picked this game. For uh I felt like there was a noise. Okay. Something just popped. See how that just popped off? Something in this area. But watch. See? something around because those icons keep popping up when I'm in this spot. What do y'all think? It's got to mean something, huh? seen that. Tracks. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. No, uh, I your car too far. Hmm. See the tracks. Too far. Gotta go back further. Go 
There's that set. I'm not progressed far enough in the story to get this set yet. So there's something that happens before that. Disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. Not yet, though, is what I keep saying. Something before all that. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. Hmm. Hmm. Can only pick one of those. Maybe it won't let me move on because I have to connect these first. The observations, I have to connect the observations first. I don't think that's the right one. How do I change the blue? How does it let me, uh, Is that all I have of those? I swear I could unpin the blue one. Something before this other track.
This one allows me to look at that. This game's right. Like, difficult. Fallen parallel tracks. Someone moved a cart to this spot and then took it elsewhere. See, now you need one. Can't more. see it anywhere in the garden. Snap. Broken old cart in the garden, but it's unlikely to have been used recently. The logs near the stack, the shambles, as if someone had dropped them. There are similar tracks near Kemahia's shack. A garden cart was usually kept under the rain cover. Okay, the rain cover. The garden. I gotta do that. Okay, behind the statue is a shoe. Yeah, it's different. Okay, so I'm learning how to play the game. This one. That just tells you about the gate. Now where is this one? This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right.
find it. Yeah. Hopefully that was that. Okay. This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. Excuse me. This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. Did it. Did it. I examined it. The exit. How do you do this thing? One more thing I have to do. I will not be long, Captain. It's one of the blue ones.
There's an empty hook with marks underneath that that might match the description. Empty hook underneath that that matches the description. Where is a hook? A Maori nose flute, ngurus, they're called. Not listening. This disappearance is... Read. There is no key bent to the right on the hooks in a Kamal shack, but there's an empty hook with marks underneath that that might match the description. Intriguing, no? I cannot make a head nor tail of it. Looking for hooks. Then I should be able to get into the gate. This is what I don't want to do. It's, it's the peanut gallery. There's a fucking, there's a controller right there. Well then do it. Well then if you just, uh, if you just watch someone then do it. Well then shut up. Let me hold the cloth. It only lets me rotate it. The rag reeks of smoke. Someone plugged the chimney. See, it's done. Eggs. Dude. I have to get this other green blob. You didn't get it. Well, that's not how you do it, dude. You're you're missing something. You're missing something because you have to. Because you have to put these together, and then the story progresses. He clicked on the rabbit, and then the rabbit started saying something. I already did that. Okay, but he did this part. How do I get that off? Or is that 
that supposed to be? Hmm. There's another clue I need. I'm telling you. You're not right. You're wrong. You're missing the blue clue. stuff. There's a nine on it. Books underneath. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. Hooks so I can get through there. This lock is quite unusual. It appears to stick a hook to the top, I right. think. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. So 
Looking for some hooks. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. <sighs> May I ask for your assistance? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Could you help me? Sorry, sir. Fuck off. Dude. Believable. Ridiculous. Look for a fucking hook. I can't pick up the cloth and the chimney. Okay. Ready? I will not be long, Captain. Boom! I don't have enough evidence, dude. You're not getting it. I'm missing something, dude. You're not getting it. You keep telling me I'm done. I'm not done. Brett. When I when there's one more bubble left, I have to go there. What? Clothes? Okay. See, well, dude, if that's what I had to do, then this game's fucking hard. If that's what I have to do, then that's, dude, this game's gonna be really hard. I will not be long, Captain. Okay, well, you're wrong, and I knew you were wrong. That's not what he did. That's how, that's how you track the cloth and the chin. Like, that's... Bruh, these are all my pieces of evidence that I have. I have to get more evidence that is not in the casebook yet. Oh, my God. You don't even understand what... You don't... I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. You don't know how to play the game. I have to get another piece of evidence. You keep thinking I'm done. But you don't understand. I have to... Get... How do you get out of the gate? Okay. I have to get some hook. It's saying. See, all the pieces of evidence right here... I've already threw them. With those pieces of evidence, I have to go to this thing 
and I have to put all those pieces together. I don't. I'm missing a piece of evidence. That's what I keep trying to tell you. I don't have enough items. I don't want to yeah, argue about you not understanding how the game works. There's a blue dot right there. I can switch the footprints out. Watch. See? I can unpin that. And I can pick another one of the yellow ones. This I can't unpin. For some reason. Wish I could unpin it. These are complete. So what you're missing is, is I need another blue clue. And then that blue clue fits with these. See, I can pick one of these items. But for some reason, it doesn't let me unpin this. It lets me pin this. It's let me unpin that. I believe that's... what I need, but I'm missing the other clue. Unless, here, let's just see. are observations the yellow ones are and these are items so I need to find another item. Okay. Be right back. 20 seconds. Alrighty, I'm back. Hit that like button. 
Subscribe if you like. This one's gonna be a long, slow Sherlock. All right, we're looking for an item. This is a true detective game. See, it keeps making a noise when I come through here. See? There's something here. See how the green flop goes above my head? See? It's sense he's sensing something here. See that comes up? What's in this area? This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. Something gotta be in this area. Over here I did all that. Like a s noise goes off. This disappearance is intriguing. No, I cannot make head nor tail of it. What the hell, man? It's the last thing I have to do. I will not be long, Captain. Here, I'll do it. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. Disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it.
bomb. Straight up. I think I might know what. Not on my game. This is ridiculous. Dude, I think I, there's a glitch in my game. Thinking there's a glitch. What the fucking hell, man?
See how there's like three dots above them? What does that have to do with anything? But you don't know how to play the game is what I keep telling you. So when you're pointing stuff out, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? When I'm talking about there's those three... Brett! You were, don't know how to play the game, dude. You literally don't. And you, like, think you do. Ridiculous. You absolutely don't know how. I almost want to cut. You have to. Sound ridiculous. Are you joking? Why would I know this? Where on earth are you going with this? The door to your garden has an interesting lock. Yes, I have uncommon locks on every door of my mansion. It makes them harder to pick. Kimmy here and I both had a set of keys. I'll need to borrow them. No, you'll need to do what I tell you to do. Yeah! Examine the garden. Earth, are you going with this? I thought you were meant to be intelligent. Is this spyglass familiar? I don't recognize it. Could it be Kimahir's, perhaps? I doubt it. I never he kept saw telling me to it, go away. Could I suggest how he might have come by it? Go get more evidence and come back. I came across a pile of Hessian. See, it doesn't teach you how to play. Are they Kimahir's? Yes. This one really I had to give him something to close himself. He seemed unfazed by his bare skin, but I found it distracting. Once you learn how to play. Do you happen to know Kimahir's shoe size? I wouldn't have the foggiest. Well, I'm sure it was enormous. Not that it matters. He spent nah, his life barefoot. Came here with, like, Despite my best efforts, he simply did not once. take to shoes. Has Kimahir ever indulged in tobacco? No. The man doesn't even drink. Are you certain? I found chewing tobacco in the garden. I controlled Kimahir's expenses since he struggled with the currency. I would have known if he used tobacco. Dude, I, I didn't even turn in all my evidence. That must need, be all he needed, though. To go to the next part and then come back to him, probably. This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. See how the dots are covered now? Above them? There's one more dot that I need to uncover, I think, on this last one. Oh, 
there's two on that one. Here we go. Nice. I have no idea what that is. Validate. Doing it both ways. It's not staying left. How do I get out of this mode? Jesus, what the heck happened there? What is going on here? Hmm. Or wait. If you find my man, I have a marvelous whiskey with your name on it. This dreary rain is making a miserable day. Those like just disappear. Clearly that it's gotta be Spyglass seems to belong to someone else.
Where was the spot where I picked the spyglass? No. Okay, so that means it's wrong. The reds means it's wrong. Yeah, that's what I was thinking before. Okay, one, two, Outside. Oh my goodness, bro. Dude, did I just fuck that up? Yeah, I did. It disappeared.
Surveilling from afar, the oh intruder waited for a window of opportunity. When Kimihir went to sleep, the man crept up to the shack and slipped narcotics down the chimney pipe, then blocked it with a cloth. Kimihir inhaled the sedative and fell into a deep sleep. The intruder tried to move him, but the man was heavier than expected. The intruder fell on the sack and dropped his spyglass. In order to transport the servant, he had to use the cart. The final challenge was opening the garden door. Luckily for our intruder, Kimahir had the key in his shack. Remarkable. It makes total sense. Yeah. You'd best have found something by now, gentlemen. Oh, this one. You said that you checked the shack earlier. Did you notice the cart tracks near it? Now one ought to expect a servant to make regular use of such a thing. Indeed, I would have overlooked the detail were it not for the cart's absence. Hit that like button. If, as you subscribe say, if you like. Never leaves your estate. Then where did it go? I expect answers from you, Mr. Holmes, not questions. I fear that someone may have spied upon Kimma here. Likely the owner of the spyglass I found earlier. It appears they were watching for some time, as there was an impressive amount of chewing tobacco on the ground. And your point? I found the residue of narcotics in Kimihir's brazier. There are several explanations, perhaps your servant's recreational interest, or an attempt at poisoning. Cut to the chase, Mr. Holmes. I won't keep you in suspense any longer, Captain. Kimihir was abducted by the owner of the spyglass. When your servant fell asleep, he slipped a narcotic into Kimihir's brazier to make him sleep even more soundly. In order to carry a man as large as Kimihir, the intruder stole the cart and rolled him right out of your garden. Now, hold on. All this simply to tell me what I already know. Why haven't you found him yet? I only arrived a moment ago. It is, frankly, incredible that I have already deduced so much. Every second you dawdle here waiting for me to stroke your ego is another second wasted. I'm not interested in the how, the why, or the who. I am only interested in recovering my investment. Spare me the claptrap, boy, and go and fetch my servant. Captain, you are so addled by delusions of competency that you miss the blindingly obvious. Without the assistance of others, you are utterly incapable. Him here endured your nonsense far longer than I will. Uh, the point is, Captain, we're telling you this for a reason. The intruder fled through the garden door, and we need a key to follow his trail. Well, then you should have led with that. Here you go. Give me the fucking key, bitch. I hope you return soon with good news. And in the meantime, please teach your companion the art gate. of brevity.
doctor's trail. Take some of them off the board for you. Oh, I actually wanted that, I think. Okay. All right, Doctor's Trail, Pen. Sturdy rope, professionally tied in a Portuguese bowline. This knot is often used by sailors to create a bosun's chair. That's one. Wheels picked up grass along the way. Kimahia's cart, I gather. So the wheels have grass on them. Soulsby. Could that be the name of our man? My man. Is that three? A strange substance. I have my suspicions based on the color and consistency, but would you care to hazard a guess, Doctor? Well, it's odorless, but from the way it absorbs water, I'd say salt peter. Then we're in agreement. Well done. Investigation scene completed. Just taking them all off the board. I should just do this anyways. So there's no confusion. It's 
So it's not so many red, yellow ones. It's the clues that I don't need, basically. Wow, the last one. Particularly not a spyglass and footprints of a working man's boots. They all add up to one conclusion. An abductor is a sailor. Oh, still wanted me to go there. Okay. Why does it want me to go there? I'll read. Back. Still don't know why it wants me to. Uh... Are you stupid, Mr. Holmes? Stop loitering and go and do your job. Are you stupid, Mr. Holmes? Why not, Tom? Stop loitering. And do your job. Might as well do this. See, it wants me to do something here, but what? Notable features of the abductor.
time to lose. Okay. Okay, now I'm supposed to be a sailor that is wallet bearers. Salt Petri residue and there was a recent accident out of the port of London. Everything suggests to find well we have must head to the port of London. There is no time to lose. It is vital that we find a cab to the port of London immediately. The strand proved not so useless after all. The saltpeter accident. Doctor, do you recall? The port of London, of course. The footwear, the spyglass. Indeed, we shall need to take a cab there. Let's just go. Stenwick wanted results, not pleasantries. Where's my cabbie? To go. The Port of London, please. I will show you where to stop. Achievement! Complete chapter one. Yeah! Hell yeah. Port of London. Mr. Holmes, what a compelling mystery we have stumbled upon. Perhaps I have the premise of my next novel. Uh, on kidnapping does not a story make. Stop! A black cat crossed before us. It's a bad omen. I do not take you for the superstitious type, Doctor. Such things are mere fantasies, tricks of a feeble mind. One imagines a physician would keep a surer footing in reality. Perhaps. Before the war, my time abroad was difficult. Once, I came across an Afghan, bleeding, who I could not save. He pressed a rosary into my hand. A gift, he said, so as to gain God's favor. After that... Dr. Watson? Yes, well, I shan't get into details, but sometime later I found myself lost in the desert. Dehydration set in. And things grew ever more dire. The man's words came to me. I said a prayer and placed the rosary on a rock. A gift to gain God's favor. And you were rescued? Yes. A detachment of British soldiers found me. To whom I'm grateful. For without their diligence, you would not be standing here and I would not have this case. I'm sure you have another explanation prepared, Mr. Holmes. But I think I shall cling to the occasional superstition all the same. To each his own, Dr. Watson. So long as it does not interfere with my methods, do it. We must press on, cat or no cat. The question remains, why abduct Kimmy here? All right, the cursed mermaid. Cursed mermaid. Sherlock can ask bystanders about a piece of evidence, press menu to open the case book, blah, 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 blah. It is saved. Chapter one complete. Hit that like button, subscribe. Until chapter two. Peace out.